We're back out on the river today chasing after some more walleye and sauger. We were out here last night and we absolutely hammered the fish. So what that tells me is today should be just as good. It's a little bit colder, so we're kind of moving into a pre-cold front here, which is really good for getting on some walleye. We're fishing sunrise to sunset, which is going to give us the optimal time to catch some fish. There is quite a lot of people out here today, but I moved as far away from them as I can. We should catch a lot of fish. There is no reason we don't. This river is loaded with fish and it has got some absolutely massive fish. It's pretty cold today. I think we're sitting at about 24 degrees and we got the tent set up today because it's super super windy i think the real feel is around like 13 or 14 degrees i would like to whole hop today but because it's so cold i don't really want to take all my cameras out there and move around a whole bunch i just want to sit in one place get on some fish and if we're not catching anything there we got the portable we can just move it down the river i'm ready to get dropped down guys new videos monday wednesday friday at 11. stay tuned throughout the video for some tips and tricks and i hope you guys enjoy let's get fishing for our jig and bait today, we have got the Acme Hyper Hammer. It's got a little rattle there and it's tipped with a fat head's head. We're gonna start jigging this thing around. Let's get this thing down here. The color is Fire Tiger. Let's get her all the way down to the bottom and let's start jigging. I'm not a big fan of staying in one spot, but it is super windy and super cold out there. But if it's not producing in here, we're either gonna move or we're just gonna go outside and just start hole hopping. I mean, our best bet for fish is to move around because these fish are constantly moving they are not sitting in one spot for too long so if they're moving we might have to chase them because if they're not going to come to us we got to come to them i'm going to start jigging around and see if i can pull anything in here quick definitely got a fish here to our right moving away going the other direction some fish to our left let's see if there's anything hugging bottom that i'm not seeing that i can get to come up we got something coming in here from the left looks like a good fish unless that's two. Oh, that's a big fish oh yeah look at this guy this is a good fish this is a really good fish coming through here two fish coming up this guy's gonna eat it got him got him hammered it good fish two of them two decent fish came up not a monster but feels semi-decent that's all that matters to me yeah you're not too bad buddy i mean not a bad fish at all look at her right there beautiful little sauger i'd say about 14 15 inches but gorgeous fish she's gonna you know what i'm gonna keep a few today yeah i'm gonna keep a few i want to have some dinner tonight so i decided i'm gonna keep a few two decent fish seems like we have some nicer fish coming through i mean that first one on the left that was a monster i mean if this is 15 inches that other one could have been 20 plus beautiful fish i'm gonna put her on the ice here guys she's a keeper she's gonna be tasty that is awesome all right kiss for good luck well i guess you don't need much good luck because you're just gonna go on the plate tonight Alrighty, let's get dropped back down here. I'm gonna grab another fathead's head and we're gonna get our bait right back in the water. All right, let's get back down to the bottom here, guys. These fish are uh, seeming to be a little bit more aggressive now that we're a little bit later in the day. That other one, no, I just can't get over it. That other one is a big fish. That first mark that came through was a big fish. I mean, that other one had to come up off the bottom and eat it before the other one could get a chance. But you know what, that's all right. We got another fish coming up here. Did not take very long. That's all right. You know what? We caught a fish, gave us a good fight, and she's going to be dinner tonight. Who knows how big that other one was. I'm just happy these guys are aggressive. We got another one coming off bottom here. Ooh, it's cold in here. You know, my tent would probably stay a lot warmer if there was, like, something here, you know, that hadn't broken off. <clears throat> Clam. Both of them actually, don't even get me started on the other one. I'm sorry, but this thing has just had me so many problems. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a hater here, but you know, look, there's a hole on this side too. This guy's coming in here. I've had so many problems with this, this pop-up. I mean, for the thousand, little over a thousand I think I spent on it, you'd think it would have been reliable. Nope, I got no problem. They're good though. Maybe it's something I did wrong, it usually is. But yeah, no, it, does, it definitely does not stay warm in here. I don't know why they have these sewn in. Like, I like the ones that are the, this kind of fabric here. They just kind of go like this. I don't know why these windows are sewn. A lot of companies do it. Nothing wrong with it other than it can break pretty easily. It does keep the cold out a lot better. But uh, still, I mean, so much can go wrong with this sewn in thing. It just starts tearing, as you guys can kind of tell from these. It just starts tearing and then... Now I don't stay warm anymore, but that's all right. It's a risk I'm willing to pay. Maybe one day I'll upgrade. But for now, you know, it's not too bad. These things are all rusted though, so they don't usually go down too well. 
you just think it'd be it'd be built to handle the cold but not very well decent looking fish leaving us to the left there yeah this thing just doesn't handle the cold very well maybe i'll get a newer one eventually this bait's got a little bit of a rattle in it so look at this guy coming off yeah we can definitely pull him off just had him had him for a second there didn't place a hook in him i don't think so he might come back super aggressive hit it right away i felt i felt him there for a second too he ate it right away we'll see if we'll get a second chance at him we might oh yeah here we go second time's a charm place another hook in him look at that no way he eats it a third time this fish has got to be crazy I just, I felt that hook right there that I placed in him. Third time's a charm, guys. I just placed another hook in him. What is going on here? Why am I not getting him to stay on? I just placed another hook in him. What is, I'm so confused. Are my hooks insanely dull? There is no way we're getting a fifth time's a charm. There is no, there's no way. There is no way. I placed five hooks in him now. Now we get them. These fish are nuts. These fish are nuts. I placed a hook in him probably five times. I felt when I pulled up, I felt weight and he just dropped right off. We got the hook in him this time. He was going for the back of the bait, which means easy, easy release there. Five, five times he hit it. I placed a hook in him or almost placed a hook. I don't know if I placed a hook the first time. Second, third, fourth, and fifth placed a hook in this fish when i pulled up i felt that weight and he still came back these fish are one of two they're either insanely aggressive and will just demolish it and they will not leave until they get your bait or they'll look at it for 15 minutes and just kind of sniff it around but thank you man i really do appreciate you little saga here i'm hoping to see some walleye later don't kick me with your tail what i just say kiss for good luck watch yourself there i'm gonna show them off here for a sec just a little guy, guys. Just a baby, but that's all right. You know what? I would rather catch a little 12 inch guy like that that is insanely aggressive than a 14 or 15. I care more about how these fish eat than if they're gonna eat it all. Same thing I do when I'm open water fishing. I'd rather catch one fish on a top water spook that inhales it than three fish fishing a Senko or live bait with a bobber. But that's just me. I care more about the fight and actually getting that fish to eat. I want to be the guy getting this fish to eat. I don't like dead sticks for the main reason that I'm not the one catching them. My bait that's just sitting there is the one catching them. So I'd rather have a fish. Who's calling me? Christopher. I got a big fish right under me. Got him. Oh, this is a nice dude. I got, I got a big fish on. Play by play. I'm giving you play by play. Came up, choked it. Oh, dude, this is a, this is oh, dude, this is a beauty. Man, sorry about that, guys. I was on the phone with my buddy. He was uh, heading out here fishing, so I wanted to tell him where to go, how to catch some fish out here, and happened to hook into an absolute beauty of a sauger. 18 and a half inches pretty close to 19 but right under i mean look at this fish guys what a tank of a sauger these sauger are huge choked it as you guys saw it came right off the bottom we still got fish down here it's turning out to be an amazing amazing day i'm gonna keep this guy as well and uh, maybe keep one more after this and i'm gonna be good i don't want to take any more than i need i mean everybody else is out here taking stuff i shouldn't really be saying much but i don't want to take more than i need if I'm not gonna eat more than this, I'm not gonna take more than this. There's no reason to just have in my freezer forever and uh, forget about them when these guys are beauties. All right, guys, this is awesome. All right, this is just amazing. Beautiful sauger. Kiss for good luck and we're gonna put her on the ice. All right, definitely seems like we've got some nicer fish down here. Started out the day with a bunch of littler guys coming through and uh, all of a sudden they dipped and sure enough, some nicer fish came through. This is awesome. We got some tasty fish. I'm not usually the biggest fan keeping fish. I'm more of a catch and release guy. But when it comes to the Mississippi River that is just filled with fish, I don't think me keeping a few fish that are legal size limits and inside my legal limit is gonna affect it at all. If I'm being honest, guys, I don't think uh, a few fish of mine 
it's gonna affect the Mississippi any bit. So I think we're good. These guys are aggressive. I mean, I'm just so excited with how many fish we got down here. And I mean, that last one there, she came up and she hammered it, chunky fish. I mean, really fat fish, came up and just smoked it. Good mark, and I mean, nothing wrong with that one bit. What I'm actually thinking is going on right now, the reason they're biting here, I talked to some guys over there, and uh, these guys in front of me, fishing same depth, haven't caught a single thing in the last two hours. That's what they told me. Maybe they're lying. But I actually, I think I know the, the, the actual reason. I asked him, like, you know, we are just talking to stuff. He was telling me how he didn't have a heater. And that's it. He didn't have a heater. And you guys are probably thinking, you know, what does that even mean? These fish are in the cold water. They're getting really cold. And it's the winter. And I'm staying warm in here. And these fish are freezing down there in the cold water. And they can kind of, like, sense I got a heater going. So they're coming up. They're eating my bait knowing that I'm gonna bring them out of the water into the nice warmth I got going on here. Cause I got it pretty hot in here. So I'm pretty sure these fish are cold. They can sense the heat, you know, go the heat rays going down in the water. They can sense there's some heat up here and they're eating my bait, searching for it, trying to eat it so I can pull them back up and bring them into the warmth, you know? And if they're really lucky, I'll put them in a hot tub tonight or it's just a frying pan with olive oil that gets really hot. So it's basically a hot tub. So I think they're just really cold and that's why they're super aggressive. That's my guess. That's why I'm catching so much. They're cold. They know I got a heater. So they're eating so they can stay warm. I'm bringing them up here and they're staying warm. I mean, look at these two here. Two decent fish. They're probably pretty cold. This guy's coming in. There we go. Give me a little run here. I like it. I got a pretty loose drag. We're running with two pound test here. I like, uh, I like running pretty light here. You know, for the size of fish you are, you just gave me one heck of a fight, buddy, and I appreciate it. Another sauger. Haven't seen a walleye yet, which is a little disappointing. I'm hoping to at least get one walleye tonight. We got a fish suspended right there, as you guys can see. She's just a baby. You guys have seen little guys like this. Nothing impressive, nothing to talk about. We got a nice school of fish moving on through. Could be white bass by how suspended they are. We're going to put on another fathead and get dropped back down. Super aggressive fish. And those are my favorite. Let's get back down, guys. These fish are just nuts. I just did a little TikTok live for an hour and I caught three more sauger and 11 inch perch. And I mean, I can't even get to the bottom without having a fish come up and just, just eat it. There's no way this guy doesn't eat. I mean, how aggressive he is. I, I can't get my bait to the bottom without catching a fish anymore. This is just a little fit. Oh, another jumbo perch. Okay. Okay, I will take it. I was just talking about perch, and uh, this one's a little littler, but we'll take her. I mean, look at this guy. What a jumbo perch. Absolute unit of a perch. 10 inch right here. What a beauty. I'm going to put her on the ice. She is going to go with the dinner here. Because I might as well bring a couple perch home, too. Nothing wrong with that at all. Let's get back down here, guys. It just doesn't take long. They're just so aggressive. I love it. Look at this guy. Not a half bad fish. Give me a little bit of a fight here. Well, as you guys can see, my hook just came out of him. As he was under the hole, reached down and grabbed him before he got away. Wow. That was a pretty sick move on my part. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of impressed with myself. Look at that guy. I mean, it's it's non-stop action. Like, just non-stop action. Another sauger here. I'm hoping for a walleye now. We've, we've been just non-stop catching fish. And it's just insane. All right, let's keep jigging around here. See if we can pull up another fish. This one looks like he's possibly semi-interested here. Is that a good fish right there to our left? Not this guy. This guy's going to just chop it. Yep. It's a really small fish. Oh, I lost him anyway. That was a really small fish. I still got my bait though. He's still there. Let's see if he wants it again. He's still down there. Look at all these fish. I mean, just look at them all. It's nuts. That felt like a pretty small fish. Kind of felt like a perch again. I'm not going to lie. Watch. He's going to come back. Come on, get back up here. Missed him. What are we thinking here? Are we thinking uh, third time's a charm, buddy? He, oh. Okay, sorry guys, I meant fourth time. I meant fourth time. Just wait, he'll come right back. Fourth time's a charm. I, I just, it's unbelievable. 
You're gonna hit it again? Fifth time? You know it's fifth time. Come on, get back here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I know you want to. Don't lie to me. I know you. There you go. Who's a good fish? Fifth time's a charm. And it was. And it was. I got a pretty loose drag. I might tighten it a little bit, even with two pound tests. I still can give her a little bit of a fight here. All right. Yeah, so uh, if you guys can tell, these fish are nuts today. Just like, I've never caught so many, seen so many, gotten so many hits, just back to back. I can't even have my bait down in the water for more than a minute without getting slammed by a fish. We're catching lots of fish. We're catching big ones. We're catching jumbo perch. This is insane. There she is, guys. Look at her right there, getting back in the water. Just a little guy. But yeah, it's just nonstop. I had two big ones come through when I wasn't recording. Two really big ones. This guy's coming in. I just... Oh, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. He smacked it. Is he going to come back? He came up super hot. Big mark. He might come back. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a, this, this is a nice one. He hit it hard. Is he coming back? He chomped it. This is a big mark. This is a big mark. Okay, that was 100% not a walleye. No, that was not a walleye. Surprised he ate that was, there is zero chance that that could have been a walleye. That much weight, it'd be, it's like, it, it felt like I was snagged right there. Just in case, you know, just in case this guy decides to eat here, oh yeah, he's gonna smack it. Got him. I'll do this, that's a good, that's a big fish. That was a big fish. Oh, Nathan. Look at him. Oh, oh, no way. No way. No way. No way. That has to be a pike. <gasps> that has to be a pike. That has to be a pike. What was it? It's an eye. It's an eye. A big eye. He's right under the ice, dude. It's a big eye. I'm telling you, dude. He's... Look at him. Look at him. He's back. He's back. No way. No way. No way. Three times. No way. He ate it three times. No way. Times. No way. It's a big eye, dude. How big? Big eye. Make sure. Dude, three times he ate it. I hooked him three. Oh, you're not as big as I thought you were. That's pretty big. That's a nice one. <laughs> there she is, guys. What a beautiful, beautiful walleye here. Stud fish. I mean crazy. Just put my tent away, came in my buddy's house, and this fish was suspended right there. I mean, how insane is that? Ate it three times. What an aggressive fish. That is awesome. All right. It has been probably close to 25 minutes since I made that last clip, and I have really, I've had a few fish come through. They just don't want to eat anymore. I don't know what the difference is. I did move three times, so I drilled a lot of holes, did a lot of moving, so that might have spooked them. That's definitely a cause that could have affected the fishing because this is a brand new spot. I just moved here and spent probably an hour here and not much wanted to move. So we're going to call it a video. We caught so many fish today. I mean, there's so many clips of fish you guys aren't even going to see because they're all the same size. But I'll add in a whole bunch, you know, as long as the video is not too long, I'll, I'll get, a, get as many as I want in there. But yeah, I mean, it was a blast. It was just just nuts i'm gonna come back here probably tomorrow or the next day and film another video here i want to try to target some of the bigger fish because i know as a fact one there's big walleye here and there's big sauger here and there's also big perch here there's a lot of big fish here so i want to come back here and i want to primarily just try to grind out moving around a little bit and try to chase after some of the bigger fish so look forward to that in the next video till then hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next one peace out